Okay, uh, who was talking? Sakiv will uh, Sakiv, uh, please uh, repeat the question again. I will go through the your question. Sakiv, you here? You guys, you guys hear me clearly, right? Hello? <laughs> yes, hello sir, we clear you. Yes. We hear you, we hear yes. you. Yes, I, I, I'm expecting some question and answer like the confusion you're having, like the problem you're facing, also uh, the entry point, the exit point, why uh, or why I'm taking the trade, everything, the question you guys have on your mind, or the confusion you are facing, or the struggle you are facing, whatever it is, I have 23 minutes left. So you can, you can ask any question related to your trading, related to entry setup, or or whatever i showed you previous three session so these are the questions that i'm expecting today no question <laughs> okay so uh who uh, all of you are here uh tell me what should i do today what i show you or what you need today guys hi sir yes go ahead hello yes. sir hi. yes say something with like you, yes uh say something just uh like this is the part you want or this is something you want or this is something you don't understand so ask me something uh, this station is yes, basic sir. Uh, okay Akash, we, we thought we thought you will start the forex sir forex yep my plan my plan was uh do the forex session today so mm -hmm. for that reason i said a few a uh, lots of you eventually uh, texted me personally to ask a uh, lots yes. of questions so i told everyone just do a list i will have a session whatever question you have ask me on the session it will be much easier let's say you are asking something on the chat box right so it takes a lots of time to answer and lots of thing to do in go uh, to the chart and come back to the telegram and post it on the telegram yeah. so i was asking everyone like find the question write it down ask me in the session i will i will i will answer it on the session so it will be much easier okay, as i explain on on in front of you akash i will come back to your question so is there any other question Okay, let's go to the Akash question. Then I'm coming back. Uh, I'm, I will go back with my my uh, uh, question and answering. Let's. Uh, okay, so this is the gold chart. What we are seeing right now this is the gold chart. So Akash, uh, look carefully. What we are. Uh, what I'm going to show you. What is engulfing eventually? As I said, whenever one candle engulf or cover previous candle so this is a red candle what we are seeing this green candle is fully covered that red candle right so when this kind of candle appeared we call it an en engulfing so if you type what is engulfing candle on google also or youtube also you will find this kind of one but we have something more something extra to identify the engulfing let's see this one so let me let me zoom a little bit more so that we can see clearly so this is a engulf in a traditional textbook engulfing like this red candle is fully engulfed or fully covered by this green candle so we call it a engulfing also if you look at this one so this red candle is not fully engulfed or covered by this green candle but this candle also did not cover that one this one eventually covered all these three candles so we call it also engulfing why 
so we mark this red candle as a base candle so when this base eventually uh let me just give me a minute So when this base green red candle eventually covered by in zone way so this one two three candle took to cover this three this red candle so let me draw it in this way. Um, this is the high of this red candle and this is the low of this red candle. eventually what it does three candle took to cover this whole zone so once it break out this red candle we are calling it a engulfing buy candle so this is the traditional way to call it engulfing this is just we call it an engulfing so why we prioritizing it this one also this one so if you if you are not following this engulfing you are missing a lots of entry lots of opportunity how i'm going to show you in shorter time period so this is four hour candlestick let's go to the current market price what we are seeing on the current market price this is uh, engulfing in a traditional way this is another engulfing on sell this is the buy so what we see let me show you clearly this is the four hour we mark in four hour yeah buy engulfing we mark it for our sell engulfing right so now we go to the 30 minute time frame we have a lots lots of condition to identify which engulfed is okay to trade which engulf is not okay to trade if you see we mark this engulfing zone in h4 zone eventually this is a huge zone in a forex market what we don't do this zone eventually cost you like 153 to 145 this is a long zone so it is it will cost you much more like you open a trade and maybe you took hundred dollar risk but this hundred dollar risk eventually you have to take at least two hundred dollar profit so this zone is so bigger so what we do we filter that zone in here so why we filter that zone on here in that zone we have a one single candle so one red candle this one and then eventually we find another red candle but we did not cover we did not pick this red candle because we have a new red candle so we calling it uh, engulfing zone. if another en another red candle created here we eventually ignore that one but we can we, we should count this one as there is no red candle again so we are counting this one eventually what market did market went to the upper side so as market went to the upper side how we will think like why am um, if market coming back to this zone again is it going to buy we are confirming it by this candle this is the sell engulfing eventually this engulfing failed with this zone so what we are seeing clear direction that market when coming back to this zone we are expecting a buy and if you go to the current market price what we are seeing here this is the zone let market a different one can let's mark so what we are expecting when market coming back to this zone right so what eventually did market come back to this zone and we are seeing that it just come back that zone and even we see solid buy so what we do in forex trade we just put a limit this is the, our limit here we put 30 to 33 dollars stop loss and really one is to two ratio we always target so this will be our as this is our next engulfing zone is h4 this is the target we always try to take but if you see if you see we have i have a sale today so i took the sale from here why i took the sale from there this is the h4 engulfing we had on there so eventually what we see on i go to 15 minute time frame in the 15 minute time frame we had one engulf here eventually this engulf filled by this candle and even have another engulfing on here this is not proper engulfing but we have a engulfing on here this engulfing did not fill so when i see that engulfing i will win the sale i took that sale from here to there so this is how this is how we trade the engulfing if you filter the snr so what is SNR? SNR is support and resistance, but in a different way. 
in traditional way we call like this is the support so one two three four five six times maybe more times when market respected we call it a resistance and same goes for support so let's say the market one time two time and breakout so this is not this is the traditional textbook support and resistance we learned so far but this is not how i draw in snr way personally i have or we what we have learned so far we call it a shape v shape and gap this is the a shape here it's if you if you only take this part like it about whole so this is we call it v shape what is v shape a red candle and green candle and created we call it a v shape and a green candle and red candle created we call it a a shape why a shape and v shape if you go to the line chart you will see clearly it is a v shape and this is a a shape right are you guys saying yes yes okay so that's the reason we call it an a call it a v shape the a shape and the most important part in a shape and v shape is we have something else that we called gap what is gap so in as red candle and green candle created a a shape or green candle and red candle created v shape whenever you find similar like this is the two same color candle we call in this one always this closing one we count sometime you will see market open with a gap let me find some okay i'll come back to it so this this is the this is the zone that we call it a gap so why why we always prioritize it gap more than a shape and v shape because whenever you have some snr you will see the reaction always in the gap what i mean by that let's see this is a this is a v shape right let's go to the line chart this is the v shape we are seeing here so if you see the reaction on the market there is nothing like this is the reaction we are seeing here right there is nothing but we have a gap here so that gap we have some pauses one time two time in this pause we have the reaction actually we have an engulfing we have gap so what we are expecting once market coming back to this zone we'll see a sharp move the downside this is how we draw the SNR. Also, also there is trend line. So in a traditional trend line, what we draw, let go to a little bit more higher time frame. So what what other people will do? This is this is what other people do. Just just okay, they just uh, just they draw trend line based on this way. Uh, how many times? come back to a trend so they always do or, or if you if you draw it more solidly so this is the trend line this is the trend line mostly people do so market may we try one time two times three times they are, they are expecting market coming trend line this is not how we should draw trend line always remember the most valid trend line is h4 trend line also in cortex market the most valid trend line you can draw in 10 minute trend line so when you when you draw your you, as in forex market we draw we 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 fixed our base time frame is h4 in cortex you can try you can you can count your base time frame will be 10 minute in 10 minute you draw all your analysis wait for the setup you should execute your all entry to the one minute so but as as i said this is the trend line people eventually draw but what we draw we way we don't draw this way trend line we always draw in middle so this is the a shape trend line so this is one a shape we have another a shape so what we are going to do in the between of a shape and a shape this is the trend line we always draw why when we see market coming back to this here we will see a reaction as this is a longer time frame i'm going to uh, give you guys something on the shorter time frame you will see the reaction also one more thing is trend line is 
not any kind of thing that you can learn from textbook trend line is totally uh, perception you ask anyone they will draw the trend line and you draw the trend line is will be different because it is totally perception of what you're seeing on the market so maybe some will draw the trend line like from this a shape to this a shape so once market come back to this here so they will see the reaction so why i took this a shape to this shape let come back here so we draw a a shape here and eventually immediately we are seeing a gap here if if we see a reaction if you see this is the reaction time frame i am drawing on i already draw on here maybe on based on 15 minute right yes we have an engulfing so remember i said whenever you see a a shape and near the gap so this is the gap what is gap eventually same color candle call it a gap in this gap area we see a engulfing on 15 minute time frame so we can say we can ex we can we can wait for the market coming back on this zone strong uh, reaction always react with the market never predict like this is the this is the uh as i did and that one market yeah market that this kind of mindset will always kill your profit not going to make any kind of profit by that way you know the analysis you draw your every aspect of the analysis you wait for the market market wait for wait for it it when it's come back to your analysis execute as market reacting do not predict so this is the basic of asana and akash uh, that's how we identify the uh, engulfing so that's it eventually this is how uh, we draw even any more question Uh, here you draw two trend line one engulfing zone and gap up gap down snl but how we identify where we uh, entry and where we close our trade okay fine as i said what i said let's come back to uh, this example what it is it's a v shape right this is a v shape right also what it is a shape a shape in the a shape and v shape we have two more thing one is sell engulfing yes and have a buy engulf right yes this is nothing this is there is nothing you can do this is the current market price call it cmp so let's go to let's go to uh, one minute one hour time frame. so why i am going to one hour time frame this is the advanced level of asana when you draw this kind of this kind of analysis this this v shape, this v shape you are seeing on here right yes the, is this v shape this candle this v shape touched or not touched Yeah. seeing this one this yes. v shape uh, when this red candle coming back to this v shape this 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 candle did not touch the line right yeah. we we call it a miss it is a miss candle so <laughs> let's say uh let's say this is another candle currently market coming back right and yeah. it created a weak sorry created a week yeah created a week here right yes so is this is this fine just you know uh, think like this is the whole candle. okay we understand this okay. is a week of the so uh, this one is touch right yes is this fresh now yes no it is not fresh it was fresh before because this one this one did not touch the line previously but this one so we call it miss we, and when it touch we call it fresh also some call it kiss candle miss kiss candle so if 
it is keys on this like if it hit that candle hit this line we go always go to the one hour time frame also if it is like let's say this one is touch on this this line right when this candle yeah. touch this line we call it rejection from this v shape so h4 you always hear the term from my end like h4 reject h4 that means if there is a line on h4 and this candle come back to this h4 line and it is rejected from here so this is h4 rejected h4 then we go to the one hour time frame when you go to the one hour time frame, so why is the base created from this one hour time frame this right this is the whole leg where it created this one right until it is coming back down here so if market if market come, goes back to the upper side if it is going back to the upper side let me the proper tool bro i have a question yeah just give me a minute just give me to find the tools and uh, give me a minute uh, okay so if market break this one let's say this is the this is the this is the origin of this candle right this leg whole leg yeah. find it coming back again to this one and we have another which is called engulfing on here the engulfing you are seeing on here this is the lowest risk entry so let's say you open the long position on here and your stop loss is counting like almost 100 points right so you have to you yeah. have to make at least 200 point to make a profitable trade but when market coming back to this this zone and sorry this zone your stop loss would be only 24 pips eventually if you target this one you are getting almost 1 is to 8 ratio or 1 is to 5 ratio trade this is how filter this is how we draw everything and we, we wait for the chart yeah so uh, someone said have a question go ahead uh, bro when the line is valid or if it candle touch with the weak or candle touch the body of this line okay weak or body it doesn't matter if it if you if you doing the analysis for high time frame let's say this is the h4 time frame no let's say this is the daily time frame right daily time frame and you draw everything here if daily time frame candle only touch the week then you can count it if it is one hour time frame to 30 minute time frame you can also count the body but body and week it doesn't matter not that much important have your answer yeah yeah bro answer okay so um now uh coming back the storyline the uh, another thing like uh, so how you you let's say you know everything like uh, you draw the a shape you draw the b shape you know this range but how you know that market is going to the upper side or the downside right this is the most invalid yes. uh, key point like i have to know is market going to the downside or the upper side i let me and here okay okay let me let me let me tell so let's say this is the longer time frame though this is 15 minute time let's say this is the longer time frame working so the zone that we should mark this is the high end and this is the low end we are working so this low end so this low end it originates from here and and this is broke out by here right also we have this is a little bit complex don't get uh here if it is break this part this low we are expecting money. if again it break this high we are so when it goes back to this area the area marking and the area we are marking as this area is already fulfilled by one single candle you see market went up and eventually it coming back with the red candle and also there is a 
red candle and it goes again to the green candle but it is touch this zone so only we have one zone which is valid it is goes back to this zone we'll have a few sale from take it at least from here to there i have running a sell i am going to send you a screenshot i even will open it here why i open a sale on here i i i'll send you the screenshot on the group so uh, why i took the sale on here let me let me go to the 5 minute chart i open a sale on here based on this engulfing this engulfing the hoin market goes back to this zone i see the another zone and this is the zone we are seeing but what we have uh must one v shape two v shape three v shape here when it broke out this v shape the momentum was not that much high because there was a cad cpi news so i just opened my self position on here i put my stop loss like only only here my entry point on was there my stop loss was just just maybe 12 pips stop loss i'm targeting it at least at least this bottom is this bottom so this is how you really analyze the chart uh 32 any more question any more question bro uh, that can break out this uh, zone it can we call the fake out or something like that uh, there is nothing called fake out uh, it, it is a dial uh, you know what we can illusion fake out is nothing fake out fake out teach people because you don't know what chart is doing there is no fake out fake out wait what you see here a shape why bro a shape what is c here is that a shape yeah okay and then what do you, what do we have here a gap what is gap when you have back to back like this is a gap this is a gap this is a gap this is a gap you are not going to you are not going to trade all of this candle you you identify your zone so what happened on this gap market reacted so many times on this gap right and eventually it created a engulfing on here so this is my priority level if market what market did in in uh, next like we are going to get this part also it is coming back here it is just hunting your stop loss this is there is nothing there is nothing called fake out so what you what you what you do what you will tell here this v shape is is fully uh uh break out here right but if you if you go to this part you see an engulfing position on here so what did you do you will do, you, eventually let's let's say this is this is the this is the part we are working right now so this is the part we are working in traditional way you find your support and resistance level here market 1 2 3 times and eventually with a sharp momentum market just did break out on here right so what yeah. we are going to do we are going to open a sell this is the this is the way we learn right but if you go a little bit back side what you see on here this is a pure engulfing what you are seeing here this is the engulfing and usually what market did market come back to that engulfing and you see the reaction on the upper side so this is same there is nothing fake out fake out is nothing so this is the this is the v shape a shape sorry and gap 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 and eventually market created an engulfing so what we are looking at future so once market coming back to this gap level and the engulfing level we see the reaction on the market this that's why i open my sell position and and this is the this is the running trade having and 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 sometimes you see this when when you open the trade you see another engulfing on here so this is we call roadblock is that roadblock going to hold or not this is another chapter you got my point right bro no, um, you mark uh, you mark this last engulfing na uh, if this red candle we touch this zone is it the engulfing is valid uh, which one we are talking this one we are talking about last one last one yes 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 this one yes okay we have two term one is engulfing another is what engulfing failed right yes. this is the two term we have only for 
solving in 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 this term how many times market come back to this engulfing it doesn't matter until it is break out when it break out here we call it a engulfing failed so when this kind of engulfing failed happen the buy position use the buy position will right let's say we don't have any yes. our proper analysis in the longer time frame so we are expecting this is a buy engulfing so what we are expecting buy we will go for a buy right yes so when market coming back to this position and market eventually fail break out this buy and this buy engulfing what we are expecting this kind of thing happen we immediately look this zone this engulfing buy zone this strong sell zone why because this pure engulfing marked it failed like as i said today's trade i had on what is the origin okay so this is the engulfing What it is? Golfing. Yeah. What eventually broke out that angle? Why never this kind of situation? Yes. Then why never this kind? Or you can wait for action as we want it. You have to come from the long time analysis. Bro, that was uh, uh, that was a buy engulfing or sell engulfing. You told me. Buy engulfing. Also, this buy engulfing. As I said, why I went. Yeah, that's a. Bro, uh, previous one is a buy engulfing. I'm sure about that. But last one break the engulfing. Now, right. that's why it would be a sell engulfing. Yes, yes, that is what I'm talking about. Very interesting. Yes. Let's say your base time frame. Golfing yes. that much break out. When this kind of happens, I buy in golfing marked. Just immediately switch that. I sell in golf. See, break out that buy. In Held. Pure sell. Go to the fifteen-minute time frame. When market reach that position, not even try to have the courage to break out. Failed and golfing. Uh, okay, bro. Uh, after this, uh, this is the buy and uh, this is the sell and golfing, right? Uh, no, this when is the buy and golfing. Uh, Listen, this thing. Buy did not react as we want to buy. Eventually, it failed our zone. Whenever it failed our zone, we immediately converted our entry position. We're waiting for buy, right? So uh, yeah, bro. I am talking about this uh, money second scenario. I am talking about the second scenario that uh, we broke up the our buy uh, position. Now we are looking for sell, right? right. Uh, uh, why do we execute our trade for sell after breaking this uh, no, after no, no, breaking no, no, this no. low yeah i got your point infinite buy the buy in gulf right waiting for is it yes yeah yeah so, yes as i say i never analysis you it for higher time frame my most of the analysis when i start you that i started from right then i coming back yes. down to time frame so when this happened market come back your zone on here right let me color it up my market back to you you go to the shorter time frame like five minute three minute what you see on here is there any buy engulfing created on your side? No. 
no buy in gulf watch if we have a gap on here or have even a sell engulfing in our zone there is no buy in gulf if there was a buy in gulf immediately enter wait wait till what happened it broke out our main primary zone this one is our primary zone the, what is this color whatever color it is but the yellow color is our entry zone but entry zone was not showing us a fine go then we help us as as mm -hmm. we can see let's say we are in are uh, in 5 minute time frame market entered our buy and gulping right let let have yes let's see it very carefully because this is the current market price so have the right scenario here as it is 5 minute time frame we go to 1 minute time frame or three, first we go to the 3 minute time frame in the 3 minute time frame do we see any kind of buy and gulp no we have a sell engulfing here this is right so yes. if 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 market is already in our zone we are we are seeing another sell engulfing is if this created it is not finished yet but in 2 minute it will be this candles if it is broke out this level we will see a short term buy from here to there as it is not any kind of create an engulfing buy position we are not going to enter not going to enter we will wait uh if if this uh, if this red candle break out this zone this zone then what we'll do we this will uh, try for sell yes yes, yes. no no we are not going to trying for sell immediately what we are going to do let me show you this tool is okay if this let's say this is the candle it break out here right Okay. So if it break out here, we have a V shape here. That means this RVS. RVS means okay. No, forget about RVS. This is the V shape. It break out, right? So whenever market goes back again to this zone, we will look for this kind of zone again. Like this is the engulfing two engulfing position, right? So whenever market goes back to this zone, we'll enter immediately. And by doing that, what we are doing? We are minimizing our risk right let's say let's say two scenario i'm going to show you let's say this candle go close here right what option do you have yes. what option do you have you have one you you short your position on here you put your stop loss there you are taking like 53 point if you open one dollar trade for a ten dollar trade that is 530 dollar loss in you are, you are gazing but if you if you wait and you wait for such position on here you are just taking only 15 dollar risk or, or 150 dollar risk in return for 800 to 1000 dollars now you're seeing the and picture clearly right why we filter so many times and why uh, why should uh, why our tp tp okay uh, tp as i said this is the 15 minute time frame this is the 13 minute time frame what we are saying we are seeing uh, the engulfing, right? So whenever you put the yeah. position on here, you just, uh, I will, as I said, I will show you guys something multi-trade. Like we are not opening one trade. We always open so many trade. We open trade on here. We, whenever you see, you find your direction. You know what, how we find our direction. You already know, right? When it break, when it re-enter, when it break, we re-enter, when it break, we re-enter. Every time we re -enter. So there is always multi-entry, like here, 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 whenever the market goes back to this, as we open another, it goes back to this. How long we take our sell position? Everyone have your answer? Yes. <clears throat> uh, so the total summary is that uh, if this candle break out this zone, then it will go for the retest and after that sell engulfing, we try for the sell, right? In a sense, but we have okay. 
first stage is to identify the zone whether it is you are doing it by engulfing you are doing it by asana whatever whatever uh, analysis you follow right then it is come it is come to your trade control trade control means how many time you are filtering your trade when you filter your trade then we focus on our current market price called cmp cmp help us to identify the exact entry position exactly where we are entering that is the cmp call. once you find your cmp the zone get it to your confirmation confirmation is go to more than lower more again to the lower time frame and you find your confirmation confirmation in the is a little bit advanced so once you find the confirmation then you open so many positions like i have familiar with so many people who just dip hundred dollar in forex forget about code in two to three months they make that hundred dollar to two hundred thousand dollars i know few people from back i when i was doing my i was a student of my mentor. they do it frequently this is called full margin trade so full margin trade is different thing anyway uh i have to go i have to go uh, so again any more uh, question this bro, is last one question. question yeah last one question uh, just wait uh, for cortex uh okay typically how many times the price reaches? okay uh, it is it is the, it doesn't matter uh, grace it doesn't matter how many times until it is break it, i just explained it a little bit earlier sorry i just i seen you message how many times it reacted on the zone it doesn't matter until it failed until it, what i said either it should be failed if it failed we change our direction if not just stay as we want it so this is this is the how you draw the engulfing engulfing is uh listen again candle reading candle reading is the most important what is candle reading candle reading is even kind of this you see this candle this is the open op, uh, this is the open position of this candle what market did come in open position of what market back to down and it go further low and it closed sorry i missed it. this is the open position yeah, of the candle up. sorry yes this it goes to the upper side coming back to the downside and then it's come to the even, downside so so what is the way of doing the trick here like the it open here the upper side coming back to the downside closed here side this is the shape of our candle right this is the shape of our candle. yes when you know this is the shape of your candle go to the three minute chart mark that zone in that zone you will have so many things to read on the chart you go to the one minute chart also let me mark talking about The candle so in one minute three minute chart what we'll look this is the this is the open of this candle right this is the open of this candle and then it goes to upper side and then if you go to the one minute chart so the what you will see a lots of thing you will see right now uh, a shape shape engulfing on here so in 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 cortex you have the option to go to the five minute uh, sorry five second thirty second ten second here is also you have the option so when you go to the more lower time frame you will see a lots of thing to read as you a v shape here so what this v shape does this in that v shape this a shape was created and eventually this this the engulf before created we see a gap yeah so what happened eventually this candle this green candle is not reacted from engulfing or the v-shape here or the a-shape here eventually it reacted from this uh 
uh, gap position so we have another v shape a shape here so we are going to see a reaction on here exactly on here so <laughs> this is this is how you should read the cha a candlestick okay guys uh, is there any more uh bro yeah. yeah i i have yeah can uh, can you go to the chart yes uh yes yeah. uh where we mark uh, a and v shape and it's broken now it's well uh, now it's any important for the market okay as it break down wait 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 yeah now you see okay. yeah uh there is a v and a shape uh, there is an a shape first uh, before engulfing after engulfing uh the last uh last v shape is breakdown so is it now valid for the market v shape and v shape okay listen uh i this was first screen yeah have a vision if you see i did not count this always count the close of the paste the red candle in red candle is not this green right when you find the v why okay. take it on so it is counting on here but green and a a shape the a shape big sorry this way shape is big by this candle engulfing mm -hmm. find this break have another gap position and then market turn bro uh sorry for the interruption i have a one question in that uh let think after the engulfing there is no market engulfing is uh, i found that okay. when i entering the market right. then what, what should i do now what, what should i do okay as it is only one minute right yeah so what i always say one minute is not your waste time take on here the engulfing right let's say this is the only engulfing it Okay. In minute. What you will do? Have a A shape. Same, same, almost same. Yeah, so yeah. The base time. One time from five minutes. Market come back to you. What yes? Golfing on five minutes, right? Yeah, market. And uh, market fall down from this. Minute again. Golfing, and if you one minute time frame, same wire wire that we are watching, right? One minute yeah. time frame. Find you. Market, let come back to this. Once it come back to this action, so when it happened, then golfing on right, golfing, yes. golfing is the. This is then golfing right. In your zone, right, and market break out that angle, market break out that angle. This is this is how we do trade. So uh, yeah, bro, I have to go. Uh, I was I was planned for thirty minutes, but <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So uh, that's that's any any more question? Any more question before the before the last one? Any other person? Okay, thank you so much, guys. Uh, Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for. Yeah. Bye -bye. Thanks, bro, for your time.